Hi everyone, my name's Mary. Welcome back to my channel, Mama Bear Prepper. Y'all, I'm holding a thing of some cornbread mix right here because I want to show you an alternative way to make this in a SHTF situation where you might not have the power and electricity to bake. And y'all, if you're in the South, we all know it goes really good with some cornbread, right? Red beans and rice. And that's the main staple in a prepper pantry is some beans and rice. And y'all, this goes oh so good with some beans and rice. If you're in the South, you know what I'm talking about, okay? So I want to show you an alternative way to make this. Um, you can, of course, use that, uh, what is it called, the Coleman Camp Stove Oven. If you don't have one of those or you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll put a link to that in the description down below. I've experimented with, like, cake mix and muffin mix. And it, from what I remember, I did this a while back. From what I remember, it does not come out as the same consistency as the cornbread would. So that's why we're gonna do the cornbread today. I'm gonna show you a different way to make this in an SHTF situation where you do not have to bake it. So I'm just gonna go ahead, mix this, you know, follow the directions. All this needs is two third cups of water or milk, okay? In an SHTF situation, you know, if you don't have fresh milk, you can always use shelf stable milk, but this also can be used with water. Very easy, so I'm just gonna go ahead, mix this in my bowl, and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. All right, y'all, so an alternative way to make you some cornbread in an SHTF situation when you might not have any electricity and power is to cook it over an open flame like pancakes. Yes, I'm using my stove, as you can see, just for the easy demonstration purposes of this video. But when you don't have that power and electricity, you can, you can always use one of those Coleman camp stoves. Those work really good, you know, or learn how to cook over an open fire. That would be great to do. But y'all, I'm just going to turn my fire on real quick. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this on here like a pancake. Okay. I did add a little bit of sugar to my cornbread mix. Because um, I found that brand I have right there. It's not, it's very plain. I like a little sweetness to my cornbread. So I went ahead and added a little bit of sugar. And I'm just going to cook it like a pancake. Um, y'all, like I said before, there is, um, those Coleman camp stove ovens. Those are really great to have. Like I said, I'm gonna put a link to those in my description down below. Check for those. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can see what I'm talking about. I do have one of those, but I wanted to show you this way, um, how to cook, you know, an alternative way to making cornbread because y'all cornbread goes really, really good with some red beans and rice. And what is the number one? staple in a prepper pantry beans and rice hello so i wanted to show you guys this method okay so if you can't bake it you at least know how to make it over an open flame just cook it like some pancakes all right i'm gonna try to flip i'm gonna try to flip this bad boy here i don't know how this is gonna oh okay I was not as lucky. It's my last time making this. But y'all, that's okay. This is not going to matter when you're hungry and you need to feed your family, okay? My flip was bad. Um, I should probably should have just let it cook a little bit longer. But I want this more, um, I don't want to, I don't want to burn it. So you got to be very careful when doing it this way. So just let it cook. Just gonna let it cook. So I'm glad I found this way. You always need to experiment and play with your preps and how to cook it, different ways how to cook it, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's it's important to do. All right, so I think it's almost done. Yeah. And y'all, I did put some. Um, you can either put like vegetable spray, what kind of whatever kind of cooking spray you have. Oh, that one's a little bit burnt. You can go ahead and put it down. All right, y'all, I'm going to turn my fire off because I don't want to burn it anymore. <laughs> Got me a paper plate here. Paper plates are going to be so helpful when you don't have all that extra water to be washing dishes, especially if you have a large family. You know, you want to make it as easy as you can. There, it did break. No big deal. My flip was bad. I'm not a professional cook here, but there you go. Very quick, very simple, and very easy. Okay, y'all, I just let it cool down for a few seconds, but here you have it. it looks just like a pancake, but y'all, it's cornbread, 
And y'all, this is so good to go with some red beans and rice, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and do like a little taste test here. Mmm. <laughs> mm hmm I'm so glad I added some sugar in this because it needs sugar. It's not like the other brands I buy of cornbread, which is really good. This, this one, I find it so much better is if you add some sugar, okay? Y'all, this is so good. I love me some cornbread. And, oh, I wish I had me a big old pot of red beans and rice. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay. One more thing. Mm -mm -mm. excuse me I'm just chomping on my food here one more thing y'all oh that is so good that is so so good I'm so glad I added that sugar to it one more thing I want to show you an alternative way to eat your cornbread so let me grab two items and I'll be right back okay so of course you know you can eat cornbread with red beans and rice or whatever you please you know but an alternative way that I grew up eating this. I don't know where I learned it from. It's just something about me and my brothers did growing up. Um, this would be a good breakfast item. Put your cornbread in a bowl. Cover it with some milk. And like I said, you guys, if you don't have fresh milk in these hard times, and if you like shelf-stable milk, do this with some shelf-stable milk, okay? All right, milk. Sprinkle with some sugar. Oh, this is so good. <laughs> so good. And then take a bite like this. You know, just eat it like cereal. Y'all, if you never tried this before, it takes a whole new take on some cornbread. It's very good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. So stinking good, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So y'all, practice with your preps. Think of different alternative ways to make it, cook it, eat it, okay? Do it now so you know what you like and you know how to do it. Can't stress that enough. Y'all, very easy. Milk, you know, in those hard times, if you don't have milk, shelf-stable milk. Sprinkle with some sugar, and that's a great little sweet snack type of breakfast or snack, or whatever you want to do with it. It's really good. I really recommend you to try this. And I don't know where I learned this from. I just I just grew up eating that, you know, with my brothers. I don't know where we learned. I don't know if it's something that my mom did and, you know, she made us. Or it's just something that me and my brothers made up and started doing. I don't know. I can't remember that long ago. But it's good. All right, you guys. So I thank you for watching. Comment down below in the comments what ways you like to eat your cornbread. Like what meal do you like to eat your cornbread with? But more important than that, what type of prepper pantry meal you can eat your cornbread with. For me, it would go perfect with some red beans and rice or like a breakfast or snack like this. So if you have any other ideas to make it or whatever prepper pantry food it can go with, comment down below. Uh, you know, talk amongst each other. The comments is a great way to share information, knowledge, tips and tricks, <laughs> okay? Uh, if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. And I appreciate you all watching. Take care, you guys.